Use your difference to make a difference. We don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. Every story can change the world. My name is Tsunami, but you will soon see why they call me Slay. Bobbly, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm a character. I'm the guy that brings the joy into the room. Life will throw you challenges, but it's about how you handle the process that will reveal your true potential. My journey is to take one in Africa to the world. I'm a tomboy. I'd like to get down and dirty when I need to. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Cover your top before you're born. Build a team, execute the dream. I believe sometimes in life you have to create your own opportunity. My motto in life is simple, don't worry, be happy. So hi guys, my name is Chrystia Tolode from the African Millennials and today we're in beautiful Central Park and I just came back from Jamaica so I put together a little picnic and invited some of my cast members so we can hang out, eat some good food, drink and just have a great time. Um, I'm looking forward to catching up with everyone and just hearing some of the things that have been going on on set and of course we're going to dive into some fun and interesting topics. So. Let's get started. Come on. Oof. So we're here today because Christina invited us for a picnic. I'm so excited. I love picnics and I just love being outdoors. Christina has been away in Jamaica on a vacation and I kind of wish I was on vacation throughout all the drama that's been going on this week. But I'm hoping we can catch her up and somehow just like clear the air and everybody can just be okay. I've been MIA, but I'm back, I'm ready to shoot. You know, I'm curious on what's been going on. I've heard there's been some drama and I'm excited to be here with Chris here. So today we are having a picnic in Central Park. It's such a Christia thing to do. I'm excited to see her since she's gotten back from Jamaica. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm not an outdoor person, um, but when I got um, the message from Christia to come out here, I was like, okay, let me just try it. So I'm out here to meet everybody. Um, I'll try not to get in trouble. Christia told me to come to Central Park. I really don't do grass, bugs, I can't really stand. This is not my type of thing, but because I haven't seen her for a while, I decided to come. I miss her a lot. I miss her so much. Man, I can't wait to tell the drama. She's gonna know everything. When Christian invited us to Central Park, I thought about just us being out of the studio for the first time. We've been in the studio and it's a different setting. And it's a chance for us to get to experience nature while we talk about some interesting topics. I'm so excited to see Christian. I haven't seen her and I can't wait to catch up with her and just you know, let her know what's been going on with me and let her and I want her to tell me about her trip. So I'm excited to see her. I think shooting Central Park is a good environment because we're around, you know, nice looking people, so we're gonna act right. I think it's gonna be interesting to see everybody, you know, outside the studio. So when uh Christia invited me to Central Park, I wasn't one hundred percent sure what type of show we were gonna do. I mean, we're outside, a lot of space, I mean the possibilities are endless, but I'm glad we out here. It looks like it's going to be a great vibe and I'm looking forward to it. When Christina called me to about the Central Park show, I was like, fine, it's cool. Let's go to the park. I'm with it. The sun, grass, liquor. It's really refreshing to get out the studio to shoot. It's fun. I love being outside. I really, Central Park is one of my favorite places in this entire city. So I really love coming here when I found out it was Central Park, not just a regular, uh, another park. I was really excited. So I'm happy to be here. I haven't been to the park in a long time. Hey, it's your boy KMS. We are down at Central Park. Christian invited me down and the other guys and the whole crew. Whoa, it's about to be exciting. This topic, I'm not sure what we're talking about. I don't know what we're going to get. Everything is going to be magical, but 
it's a great day. It's great to be at the studio as well with the fresh air, and plus I can watch some birds as well. You never know what I might get up to. So we are here because I've, I've, I've missed you guys. I haven't seen right. you guys in a long time. Oh. Seen you for a very long so time. I just want to catch up. Today, we want to know. We're going to be discussing an important topic that most of us think about, hey. which is why do men cheat? Oh, hey. 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 I guys say no. It's been a pleasure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get home safe. I think I know. Why they cheat? Why do men cheat? Mm -hmm. Because they're because selfish and they want to buy for themselves. I said, tell you, why do you cheat? I've never cheated. I mean, mm. <laughs> I've actually never cheated, so I, mean, I don't know why that question was directed. Have you ever looked at another woman while you were in a relationship? Why? No. Wait, hold on. That's My mother's not talking with that. I mean, I'm just asking this, this is like, this is, this is, this is very reminiscent of something else. No. You stay on topic. That's a topic. I think no, it's a fantasize about another woman. But I'm not it's mentally cheating to say. You're saying, sir, are you saying, start. are you asking Have you ever looked at another woman in a certain way? No, I'm asking you guys. Why the men cheat? Because I've actually never cheated. Can you pass me another plate? It doesn't mean you can't answer the question. I've never cheated. You know why you cheat? You, can answer why you, cheat. Catch up. you want to know why men cheat? All they have because they're allowed. Yeah. Because they want to. Yeah, there's so much temptation out there that women or men, you know, pull out there where man can just or woman can just get it just like that. Um, it's a very bad thing if you just got, you know, your significant other that don't know and you're doing it. But um, there's a couple of reasons why men do cheat. Not happy at home. The woman's either nagging them in their ears, or man's nagging them in their ears, vice versa. So, I mean, there's a couple of things right there. Is it right? No. Nobody wants to be cheated on. Men cheat because they're allowed to. Women are allowed men to cheat. There's so much temptation out there. Big ass tillies, big ass boolies all over the place. Shaking and jubbing all over your place. It's temptation. I mean, you see all that and he's like, damn, I just want to hit that. But they still want to go home to the wife, but it's just a curiosity. It's like, oh, I wonder what that feels like. And when it wants to hit it, it'll be like, all right, for instance, men. Listen to this, right? You see a chick now, you're like, oh man, I definitely want to smash that. And you smash it, and as soon as you, as soon as you bust your load now, you're just like, you know what? I want to go back to my wife. You know, you've done it. You've, you've had the achievement. And a woman just made it so easy. You're just like, oh, okay, that's it. See, you go back to your wife, keep doing what you're doing. So, I think probably insecurity. Definitely uh, one. Uh, there's one ego, you know, the fact that your ego gets to be stroked. Don't forget though, yeah, well, like you said, you know, yeah, some men want to still see if they still got it, you know? Yeah, and that's that's the ego. That's yeah, the yeah, ego no, they want to go out there like, you know what, let me see if I can bag this girl or woman, even though you know you got a woman at home. Some girls might entertain it, some girls might. It's just mm. one of those things, ain't it? Another reason I, I agree I with so. the ego thing. Okay. No, I agree with the ego thing. But I don't think, it all depends on what each, you know, your partner decides to change. I feel like guys, do want to know if they still got it. It's just a curiosity. When you're in a healthy relationship or when you're in a long relationship, you okay. always feel like, you always feel like, yo, do I still have it? Am I still attracted to people? <laughs> but I don't think you should follow through past the whole bagging phase. Um, sometimes I feel like if there's no more attraction, true, yeah. the, true, true. Then why you, bro, then just why end you, it, right? No, no, I, do, I, just, just, I, just, I, I disagree. No, you can't end it. This is a relationship. No, you can't just end okay, it. There's men that cheat, right? They love their girlfriends or wives. And if you know, they'll keep doing it repetitively. And if the girl steps out, it's such an issue. Like they get broken, they get angry. Like, you know, like they haven't been doing the exact same thing, right? Uh -huh. But it's also, a th it's selfish, right? It's also a thing of like maturity. If a man is not at that point where he, let's say, leaves a game or he, it's something he's been doing for a while and he meets a girl and he, I mean, he has it's to almost shake out of that right? routine. And sometimes that comes with age. You're very true. And it's it, and that's why you hear people saying, "Oh, you're still young, man. You need to have that." Yeah, yeah because yeah, yeah, you I think there's a curiosity with it for for guys. Like right. I think as you get older, you're less curious. So it's not like some some guys don't some guys are gonna grow up. Not, yeah. No, no, no. no that's, that's what I'm saying. Thank you. But that's obviously, saying. people yeah, don't mature. Case. People don't mature on the same level. You yeah, can be young and not exactly. be curious, and you can be old and still think you know what's out there. But Maybe you haven't gotten that face out of phase out of you. It's not like you go through the phase at a certain age. Nothing is guaranteed. A lot of girls find, like, you know, pride in taking a man who's in a relationship. Now, mm -hmm. there could be well, a man. some girls. Listen, listen, there could be a some. dude out there who is cut clean, loyal to his girl. Away. And if another girl sees that and she wants that guy, she'll do everything in her power. I, I, I tend to say this, right? If there's always going to be something better out there, always, period. Whether it's relationship, whether it's goals, whatever the case is, always going to be. So you have to be content and be happy with what you got. Because if not, you're always going to be searching for something else. Yeah. That's what I say. The, the idea of monogamy for men is yeah. a very recent thing. For some men. Thing. Some yeah. men. 
No, we're talking about You think it's for society. for men or we're talking about society? I think the idea of monogamy for men, especially men of color, is a new phenomenon. Like, let's be real. Well, my grandfather had multiple wives. Bless him. Like, like, same here. Like, same same. exactly. Like, That's even back in, even back in, um, <laughs> back in slavery, like, you, you have, you have a relationship, you, ha- you have children with this person and you're moved to another plantation. Like, the idea of having one family and being with that family is a new thing. It's not something that I has mean, been yeah. happening mm-hmm. from the beginning the time. of time. Yeah. So, true. we had to also train ourselves yeah. To that, you know, like this is not, it's just something that is new. I okay. think that people should be monogamous. I believe in monogamy, but as men of color, it's something that is kind of new. Like women are with that one person, whether you're amongst other women with that one man, you're with that one man. Uh-huh. But for men, it's different. Like you have multiple wives. This generation <laughs> is easy to, it's easy to, you know, just have multiple girlfriends. You could have multiple girlfriends. I don't think it's this generation. generation. I think it's actually harder good. now because I think back harder in the day. Harder to cheat? No, no, harder <laughs> to have multiple girlfriends. And this is why I say How? I'm going to tell you why right now. No, no, no. Everybody says the whole social media thing. I feel like women now can do for themselves like they couldn't yeah. before. Yeah, before, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. When you have a man and he's the one providing for you, even if he cheats, you don't have anywhere to go right. because okay. you can't take care of yourself. Sure. Now, if a man cheats on you and y'all live together, you can go move out and do your thing. Your so I feel like it's different. People are saying like, oh, now men are cheating more. I think they cheating less. <laughs> men back in, wait, 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 wait. I think the they're cheating, cheating less. And this is why, you guys saw Fences? Yeah. yeah. Like in Fences, yeah. like she, homie she came through cheated. with a kid. Yeah. And it's like, yo, you're gonna have to take care of this kid because the mom yeah. died. And she don't have no, she has no source of income. So she has to be here. What is she going to do? Leave and go that's where? Another, so it's like, point. I think it's different now. I feel With like, the time frame but, but like, listen, but listen, it's accepted more now in society. Like it spoke about freely because everything is spoke about freely. People do all type of crazy things and people speak on it. But back then it was like the thing you talk about in the bear parlor with your guys and all that. But now it's whatever. Guys, they've been cheating since forever. Like they were cheating, they were doing, the older men were with younger women, you know, all that thing, and the mothers will just, you know, look away because the guy's rich and can probably take care of his yeah, daughter. And true. before you know, the girl's leaving in the house with the guy with the wife, and yeah. you have yeah. multiple situations. That right. doesn't happen now as much. Yeah, I'm sure, you know, there's some people who let things fly, but it doesn't happen as much. So I don't think cheating has gotten worse. I think it's actually better. So which would then go with your thing where it's like people are learning to be more faithful mm-hmm. as we go. Have I cheated? Yeah. No. You? No. I'll put it right on camera. Oh, you? No. I've been close to cheating. I've been like, Temptation. like, like, Temptation. like this close, like, like this close. But um, being that. Do you tell her about it though? That you're feeling like stepping out? No, no, no. Because I respect no, no, the men no, no, more no, no, to be like, yo, no, 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 I'm about to go cheat. No, no, so, that's the thing. What? Don't even. No, no, no. I didn't say I'm, I'm just, about to go cheat. I just said. Oh, I'm about to go You just said you would respect that more. And I would love you more than that. Because at least you gave me a choice to either stay or leave. Don't choose for me. Don't this is, this cheat don't wait. and then oh, I'm going I'm about to go cheat. You can leave or stay. <laughs> oh, I'm going to stay, go no, cheat, then come back. Say, no, she said she would choose her choice. Like, you know? Wow. <laughs> you never know. I think it's, it's more honest than you doing what you're doing. Honesty is key, guys. And I don't know about it. And then later on, I found out. I'd be like, you know what? Was honesty years ago. in a world, that would be... In a perfect word, honesty would be great. Okay. In certain oh, situations, yeah, but, so. but I feel like people are one. selfish. No, sometimes, yeah, sometimes some people, are... people like you for the no, long run, but right now you they want something else, and that's all it so, is. You've never cheated, never been in that position to cheat. No, okay. First of all, I'm one of the, those people. If I go into a relationship, I'm very transparent, and just like going back to the whole thing of looking at girls. If you see, I'm very like open. If a, if a guy is good looking, he is good looking. That's a fact, right? It's not that I'm going to go and pursue the guy, but I'm open about stuff like that in a relationship. If you think somebody's good looking, it's okay. This stuff of like, oh, you can't talk to that girl, you can't look at that girl some type of way. I think those are some insecurities. If you're content with yourself and you love yourself and you're sure about yourself, you're fit to love somebody else and be aware and be honest about what's so Yes. It's, it's not about, it's not about, oh, he spoke to that girl, I think he's cheating. That's how it starts from there. Like, mm-hmm. if he, you can't even see him just be natural when he's with you, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. then you're gonna have all these things in your head Shit. like brewing about what he's doing when you're not with him. I think, I think I I, I'm feeling I, this. I, I think that regardless, <laughs> I think people are just gonna, if you want, if, if someone wants to cheat, they're gonna cheat regardless. Right. But just yeah. let, you can't, you let can't, me you can't, know. You can't, no, I, I'm not saying, yeah, obviously, but I'm saying yeah. you can't stop someone from cheating. No, you can't. It's regardless, they're gonna That's cheat, true. they're gonna cheat, yeah. and there's nothing you can do. Okay. Stop someone from cheating. Huh. Listen, I'm gonna do what you this. have to do as a female. 
Wait, hey. wait, 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 both wow, you are so nice in the kitchen. Yeah. Like, oh my! Trust me. First of all, I just want to be. Wait, let him finish. 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 If, if you do all this right, I don't see a reason why a guy would go out and then change. No, I can't even believe you saying this right I, now. This, that's ridiculous, I, man. That's no, ridiculous. it's true. No, it's not true. And what are you like? What are you as the man contributing to like help her be a man? I mean, woman. So what's the man's job? Yeah, what are you doing? The issue. A woman's what? place is not in the kitchen. A woman's place is in the bedroom. Oh, the okay. bedroom. Okay. Bro, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. So you're saying Wait. if you're pleased in the kitchen, like food is there and, and sex is there, is there, you're not looking outside. Why would you look outside? Why? Well, that's you. Why would you look outside if... Okay, let me tell you something. Even if you had a girl that was doing... Major things. Even if you had a girl that was doing all the things that fit your criteria of what a girl should do for you, you're going to get sick of that routine and you're going to look... No, he's speaking for No, I'm not going to get... Why would I get sick of that? You'll never find a woman like that that just dedicated to the kitchen and sex. He's not saying that. He's not saying that. Milan is not saying... Sorry. Stay in the kitchen, and once you're out of the kitchen, I'll see you in bed. Right, right. He's saying he right. wants a girl that's good in bed and cooks. He said if a right. girl does what her she job. wants to do, her job. And then yes. you guys actually... And then yeah. I said, what is that? Exactly. And then you said, you said, please me in the um, bed. Please me in the bed, and please me in the kitchen. That's what he said. That's for that's, me. That's, that's for me. Not, okay, you know, that's, that's, that's not all she has okay, to do. Is that all definition. she has to do? What is apparent is that even... Girls that do that still get cheated at all. Similar to what she said, where it's like, yo, if you're open, and you guys have communication, then that leads to it. Now she's saying that's what should be done, and he's say, it's similar, it's just the fact that what he's saying sounds like oppressive language. I know you, you probably didn't mean what you were saying, but we don't think that that's the definition of a woman. No, that's I, just we don't agree with that. What I just want to say is that, in all actuality, back to what uh, Lucy said, is some of us guys too, we play a role that, in a relationship, we're playing this marital role, you feel me? Even moving together, it's like, a big step. Yep. And I feel like a lot of, crazy enough, people break up because they move together. Mm -hmm. Because they're yeah, not ready to live. A lot. Yeah, That's true. They're not ready to live together. So, if you wanna if you wanna do all of these things for a man because you feel like you need to keep him or whatever, because that's the problem with us guys. I mean, that's the problem with the girls have to face. They feel like they have to do certain things to keep Because they like to be spoiled. Right. I mean, yeah, I get, yeah. I'm, I'm guilty of that too. I'm gonna keep it I feel like that's the thing. Like, I'm, as a woman, it's like, have to work harder to True. not only like I had to keep you and keep you from cheating on me. Let me let me let me tell you something. This is where the roles reverse because in the beginning, let me tell y'all something. In the beginning, the guys are doing all the work. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? We are doing all the work. True. So now we're back in now. Now we're back in a space where we caught uh, up to each other. Like no, 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 no. Hold on. In, in, in regards, trying into, to change, into, they're trying to into getting, getting you. Yeah, into getting yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Getting you. Now, okay. now we're we're back in a space where I feel like now you gotta you, you gotta show me what you can bring to the table. And All that's, right, but you doing the work to get me is not the same thing as us sustaining. Okay. Okay. But here's, here's here's where that problem okay. came in. Yeah. The problem came in is we were doing all this work to get you that we didn't even get to see if you were even worth being with. That's a crazy wow. thing. Wow. No, 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 no. Let me explain myself. Let me explain. Wow. No, 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 yeah, yeah, because we're doing all of this, we're doing all of this, yo, taking you here, being here, buying you all, like, trying to be this. Didn't I say when guys spend money on you, they think that... Yeah, they be like, oh, no, no, I mean, it's, a, it's an example, it's an example, yeah. Once you guys spend yeah. spending money, you guys feel like... I feel yeah. like that has something to do with your vetting process, not the Bet relationship. Wait, no, 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 because if you, if you do the chase, if you do the chase blindly, because, okay, this person is great, this person is cute or whatever, obviously a lot of times people chase girls and then once they get them, they're like... I don't even know why I was doing all this you know, because it's the hype, it. because it's that newness of the relationship. Yeah, yeah. you have to do the better when face. you're pursuing people. You're right to understand that okay, like this Can person I, is worth keeping. But let me tell you what a chase is. Let me tell you what a chase is. This is you. No, this is the guy. Right. Boom, 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 boom. You see that, right? You see how that's going? Running away, running you're, away. you're running away. That's this is a pursuing. This is consistency coming. You starting to meet me halfway. You see where I'm going with this? Mm -hmm. Now we met. We met at the middle now. Put the coke in the coke. 
<laughs> now we here. Now we intertwine. Now we intertwine. But we didn't have that beginning. We didn't have that foundation. So I'm chasing you, chasing you, chasing you. Now I, I caught up to you. I'm worn out. Now I'm just like, all right, I'm here she now. So. The coat now. Now I gotta drink it. <laughs> <laughs> so so the, the, the only thing I have with what oh, you're no, saying is, that, it buddy. seems like you're you said women have to also do the work of maintaining yeah, that. But not. you're you're making that decision that. All guys cheat. That, that's no no no, 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 no. Hold on. When you're saying like you, you, you said, there's two by your things response, girls yeah. have to do. Two things that women have to do: get the guy and, and maintain the guy. But to be honest, but do you honestly right, feel like most guys cheat? Is that, is that what you're because saying? Because it's all in the back of your mind. He might cheat. There's a percentage that he might for cheat. For me, I don't know. So, but, I don't, but why I'm do you feel like you have to maintain it? Because because you feel like there are options out there. Because at the end of the day, there exactly there are other options. So not only do I have to like. I feel like as a woman, if I'm in a relationship, I'm worried, I'm gonna be worried about keeping you and you not cheating. It's, it's, no, I feel like you can all, keep somebody happy. Them. Cause now I do know guys get a girl and then they get comfortable. Don't get they comfortable. Do. As women, like I feel like, okay, you've done this work. What's up? And now we're, we're together, right? I don't know uh -huh. about that one. Once all of the chasing it's behavior finished. has stopped, I feel like for me, it's more like of the female trying to maintain that, like, because there's something in that chase. Like, you understand? Like, there's something that's going on with that chase. It's like, with the chicken. I don't even know how to explain it, but once it stops, it's a female that's like, oh babe, let's so go out, like let's, oh babe, let's do this. And it depends, like, going into getting to know someone in a relationship, whatever the case is, who's putting more of the percentage in to try to get to know that person? So if someone's putting 50 in and someone's putting less than that in, you know, it's not going to balance itself out. So we're going to switch it a little bit to women now. Ooh. Yes! So okay. why do we better? think women cheat? For me, because as women, we're very emotional. Some women, if I'm going to cheat, I don't even I don't even think I can cheat because Oh I'm trust gonna, me, there's a possibility. You ever been tempted yeah. before? Have you ever been like really I'm real? gonna break up with you. Oh that's the I honest don't way. Right. Be with you that's fair. That means like if I'm gonna if I'm thinking about somebody else, that means I don't want you. So I'm gonna break up with you and then pursue whatever I wanna do. Like I can't I'm me, I, first of all I have a guilty conscience. Right. I'm a bad liar. You can so tell. I can't even hide. Dimples, yeah. your dimples like, go up. Shut up. See? <laughs> See? So right there. for me for me, I used to think that People were thought just like me, so if you oh, no. not in a relationship, like if, if you have feelings for somebody else, like you're gonna break up with the person, or it has to be something emotional, like this person is the person you call when you break fight with your boyfriend, or whatever the case may be. But lately, it's just sex. It's oh, he's cute. I was horny. I was drunk. We had sex. It's, it's, you're gonna go and lie to your boyfriend the next day. Oh, babe, what are you talking about? Why would I? I would never do that to you. A lot of girls mess up in the sense of like that idea of breaking up with him and then going chasing whatever you want to chase. A lot the of girls. never greener. What? The grass is never greener. <laughs> never greener on the other side. And that's they. That's they calm. That's the yeah. funny part. They'll go to another guy thinking that oh this is gonna work out. That's y'all karma too when y'all do it. So. What? But they don't. They don't oh, no, nah, like, a lot, dudes don't no, just don't leave, leave another... They don't leave. I still come, come back home, home to you. I still be like, baby. They come back home, they just want to get freaked nasty on the other side. And they come <laughs> home and you know what I'm talking about, right? I know nothing. Exactly. They want to get freaked nasty exactly. on the other side. You know what I'm talking about, right? You can't mess you know that. They want to get freaked nasty on the other side <laughs> and then come back home to the wife, innit? He knows that. He knows that. Some other reason, I think, is... He broke. He broke, yeah. Financially, he cannot support me. Not even me, like just us. But not cheat, as, as, not as break as up, as not as break as up, cheating. 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 Not break Cause up break up and cheating. Because break up and cheating, it's yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you yeah. would stay with a broke person. guy. Okay, you see potential. If, yeah, okay, I okay. see potential, but money is, I need it right it's now. Right. If you can't provide it right now, I love you. But, but you don't get I the sweet to dinner. get my money somewhere else. Oh. So why should he stay with you though, if you, after that? He's not gonna know. Because I'm helping you too. He's not gonna know. Oh, oh you gonna bring some money oh, back. Oh, yeah. I got this. Oh, I like that. Oh, you cheating with a purpose. Wait, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Okay, if you're he's with somebody broke. and he's broke, Careful. and this then you ha you're getting attention from these people money. that have money, that yeah. have things Whatever. to Scam offer you, it's kind of like, damn, like, Cause right now well, it's like a conflicting, fl conflicting exactly. thing. Exactly. Like, Yo, your nigga stuff, can't do nothing. This person has <laughs> something to offer me that I want. Want? Yeah. Okay. That's and fair. And then sometimes you go that's in there like. But then no. That's, I don't want to make it yeah, seem like that. You're like you love your man at home, okay? Everything is perfect. It's just it's that. It's not perfect. Wait, it's not perfect. perfect. Right. No, 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 no. It's but it's just that financially he's like short and he cannot provide it for you. That's you, a big deal. That's a big deal, right? Okay. Like you know, the thing is, if I was to cheat, I wouldn't cheat to begin with. But <clears throat> let's say if the if the if it's like the same sex. That's cheating. 
Would you would you break up with your girl? I'd be disappointed if she didn't invite me. Then I'd break up with her. It's a okay, lie. Tyle. What? I definitely do? definitely would cheat because it's cheating. I didn't want a threesome. I just wanted to try a female. <gasps> now, okay. I told my ex about this. I was open about it. I was like, yo, like honestly, I want to try a female. He was like, I don't know. And he went with it. He was like, okay, oh, why don't we do a threesome? And I'm just like, no, I honestly just want to try it on my own. Okay. <laughs> you know Selfish. I mean? Right. I just want to see. I just want to no see how it is first. Then. I'm like, okay, so I'm just gonna do, he said no. He, this is what he told me, he said no, I don't want you to do that because you might turn gay on me completely, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, no, I just, this is this is just an urge I need to release. I feel like I, I just need to just do it, just mm -hmm. because if I end up with you forever, I want to try something And get it over with. You, you know? She that's that's definitely know. cheating because you, you had a sexual encounter with somebody else. That's yeah. cheating. That's, that's all cheating. it is. That's Whether she got a penis or not, you had a sexual <laughs> encounter with somebody <laughs> else. Caitlin so you Jano. definitely, you definitely nah, cheated on your man nah, one. Nah, and nah. homie told you straight up like, no, please like, don't do this. Please you were like, baby, no. I told you I'm doing that. That's so, definitely, so, that's so, black and white cheating. So guys, we're gonna, you know, kind of start wrapping up this conversation, but I, so let me have a question. So I want you to address that. Oh, would you stay if he, if your boyfriend cheated with another guy? No, I'm out. Guy on guy? Mm. I can't, yeah, I can't, I, I can't deal with that. <laughs> like he wanted to experiment as well. No, I'm not gonna <laughs> Same, same like you did. So what's the, why the double standard? Mm. See, I guess once again, I can be very selfish. Hey, we all selfish. At least you can admit that. That's the, that's, and, the, that's the best part. And I feel like I can't deal with another guy having sex with another guy because then the, these things are created. Once you put something in the butthole, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have, have to be. be. Would you, any of you ladies stay with a man that cheats on you? Starting with Lucy. Let's, let's go. No. No. It depends. I think it depends. Sit. No. And wow. with any of you guys, stay Hell with no. any female okay, <laughs> that cheated on you. Mm -hmm. It depends. I go with it. No. Hey. I'm leaning towards no. I'm, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, no. Well, you stand for as well. I really got to be in that situation. Oh, it depends. It depends. Okay. okay. My so family? I really yeah. have to be Yeah, like, you know. Like, I believe in second chances, not third chance. So, yeah. <laughs> I feel yeah. like with me, it depends yeah. as well. Yeah, it depends, depends on... Yeah. Depending. I'm not saying there's a reason why, like, there should be a reason why people cheat, but I want to know the circumstances. Was it like you went out looking for this guy, or was it like... Yeah, but well, shit, mad, though. Why well, the they just still cheated? <laughs> where, where were they no, I'll be pissed. Up? I'll be... No, no, I hear what you're saying. I'm just saying, oh. but does it really matter, though? They still stepped out. No, 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 no. I want to hear, like, all right, if, if my girl come up to me, God forbid, be like, hey, uh, you know, I cheated on you. I'm going to know. I want to know the who, what, when, where. How? You want all the details. I want all the details. I want all the details. But how would it make any sense, though? I don't get that. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> and if I, I see, if I feel like there's remorse, if I feel that, like there's remorse <laughs> behind her telling me the story, and okay, yeah. and she's like, you know, at least begging for, then I'll be like, all right, so cool. My, my, but if she does it again, then she adopts. That's my, that's my, my, yeah, my yeah, next she question. Adopt. So if you accept it uh -huh. and say, okay, cool, we're talking out, what makes you think she won't do it again? I don't know. If we're like married and you tell me you cheated on me five years ago even though i was still full away like it's not gonna be an easy forgiveness yeah. Yeah, but then, mean, even but if it's cheating on you this is the first year of your marriage like i feel like it's still gonna be like you want to hold to the standard of not i find out i'm talking about when i find oh. out oh yeah. women sometimes say like I know he's gonna cheat as long as I don't find out, or as long as I'm not looking like a oh, fool yeah. out of yeah. 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 Or like yeah. they find re ways to like phrase it so it compensates them looking bad, so it, oh, it becomes like an ego thing. Like mm -hmm. I, I don't want to look yeah, like a fool anymore. Or, or, they, mm -hmm. or they translate it to the man respects me enough, he won't make me look stupid. That's why I say no because I don't want anybody watching to think you should tolerate it now in yeah. relationships. That's but I in said, marriages, that's I said, no. it's a whole different. Yeah, that, I think for me, yeah, that's why I say depends. Me that means yeah, when there's like a lot settled. Invested into it, like if you invest a lot of time. Invested. Okay, then, very true. I understand that, but what does that say? What you stand for? I agree. That you in, love in, the person. It's no, no, not but yeah, but no, okay, very true. No, I'm not, but I'm not. Yeah, you've seen marriage. Yeah. I understand that things do happen. Yeah. But if, if you've been to so if you've been with someone and you've gone through everything, right? Everything's gravy as you think it is, and then that person steps out on you. What does that person actually think about you then? Then that's where the conversation comes. You gotta talk and see what. So what? Okay, okay, wait, 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 w
I do feel like we are basing it on someone else's marriage where it's like we might have known someone that said it's hard to step out. We don't know. We yeah. might step out, we yeah. might not. Yeah, so and we can't really speak for it until we are a part of it. My final statement would be, um, yeah, I mean, she, in my opinion, is completely wrong. I don't know that it matters if it's boy, woman, or same sex, or, or, or you know, not the same sex. So in my opinion, the reason why I said I would lean towards no, if if I was to take the girl back is because that's my natural instinct. If you cheated on me, that means you didn't think I was worthy enough and you found someone else. And I, 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 left, I left a small door for it. Depends just because I don't know how I would feel if I would be, if my love would be stronger than that. Okay. Yeah. And they give you googly eyes. You yeah. take me back. Right. Some people are selfish. Yeah. So I think like the conversation is needed when somebody cheats. Like if you really feel like, yo, I'm rocking with you. Because I think people get, if you're in a relationship with somebody, you think a lot of the person. I don't think, right. I don't jump in a relationship with everybody. Right. So if you're in a relationship with somebody, you think a lot of the person and a conversation is needed. Whether it be where you fuck up or the person fucks up. You talk about it and if it, if it can't, you know, grow from there, then you guys should back out. I think that cheating should mm -hmm. just... We need to stop accepting it. I, once you allow that behavior, once you make it okay, but you come to me, but oh, you you're messing with all these people, but I'm the one, I'm the last, I'm the last person you come see at night. It doesn't make it acceptable. We, again, conversation is needed in relationships. If you have an urge, if you feel like yo, there's something missing, there's something I want to see, talk to me about it. And if I want to stay with you while you explore, I'll do it. But if not. To give me the opportunity to leave and let you do what you gotta do. There's too many people in the world to focus on, God forbid, you get your heart broken. I think some people are so stuck on the fact that they think that they'll never meet someone else again and they wanna make things work. And yeah, I mean, try to make it work, but at the end of the day, that trust can never, <laughs> no matter what you do, that trust can never, ever be repaired. No, it's not gonna make your love stronger. Find someone else. Leave. There are billions. B. Billions. Billions of people in the world. I don't know why people subject themselves to eternal heartache by trying to work something out that's obviously dead. So find someone else, man. And people, why? Like, if you die tomorrow, they're going to find someone else. Just do you. Because obviously, if they felt like having sex with someone else or moving on emotionally, like, it's gone. There's no way to bring it back. There's nothing that you can fix. If you want to stay together for the kids, you're only going to be miserable. Leave. Like, there's men out there who will accept your child, women out there who will accept your child. Like, there's no reason to subject yourself to such agony. Like, it sounds easier said than done, I know, but at this state, like, at, at the point that I am, the things that I've seen, I'm not sitting there and trying to work anything out. I'm leaving. If you cheat, you felt like leaving, so I'm leaving too. Bye. I feel like cheating is wrong, um, and I don't want you guys to think like all men cheat, and I don't want you guys to also feel like you cannot change somebody from cheating. If somebody, you like, there's always second chances, like, people change for the better, so I don't want you guys to feel like, oh, you know, this person cannot change, so a cheater is always a cheater now. I don't condone cheating at all, but um, at the same time, I want to agree with Milan, there are second chances, and second chances are not for everyone, though. In all honesty, if you wanted to cheat, you should you should leave the relationship. As crazy as that sounds, right. as hard as that sounds, step away from the relationship, it's the right and thing to do. your significant other wants you back at the yard, had job break or you did what you want to did I mean did what you did then fine That's and if it. they don't want you back then you should have learned you learned your lesson from there and learned that all right listen if you're gonna stick with someone stick with someone to the end I think man and woman there's no there's no justification now if they do cheat and they open about it and they're honest I feel like second chances are into consideration but yeah, let's not accept cheating and not settle for that. If you cheat on me once. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. Because if I give you another chance, oh, okay. She's going to give me another chance again. Don't worry. I'm going to find a way to just keep this one really, really low profile, you know, where yeah, she wouldn't mistakes. find out at all. There you go. That's what no, it is. No, you give another that's person a chance, that's it. They feel like they have that's many bring chances. The pepper spray. I kind of already touched on what I said. I just think it's not, it's not right. And right. if don't let people get comfortable with how they treat you like set set um set a standard for yourself and don't like go below that don't settle exactly because yeah. eventually people people take advantage of you thank, thank you guys champagne. for coming wait we gotta pop champagne oh Hold we're up. popping champagne oh, yeah we got hey. popping you know i brought a little something something hey. else we play out oh 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 <laughs> <laughs>
You know what I'm saying? Because um, I think it was just an interesting topic to hear about what everyone had to say. I think in a weird way, I don't. I think it was just interesting to hear what everybody's opinions on why you know men and women cheat, and just also see how you know. Um, where some people stand on that um, and just to hear about how people feel about if you know you cheat outside of your relationship with the same sex how people feel about it and the double standards y'all deserve it you know what I'm saying this okay. is what it is okay hold on hold on if you're going to pop it in you will just watch out for my hair wait anybody ever had a champagne shower before I just want to know I don't want champagne showers you don't want a champagne shower I'm just hold on hold on hold on hold on please True. The highlight of today is what Fran well, is what Francia said. She said that um, the reason why a woman could cheat is if her man is broke. <laughs> Not saying that she's saying if her man is broke, but she's saying that if you know the woman's man is broke, she, she might move on and cheat with a dude who has money and get money from him. And I feel like, damn, like you can't even. I don't feel like that's a reason. In all honesty, just leave the dude. He broke, and you feel like he broke. He can't provide for you. Leave him. If my man is broke, but I love him for some reason. I will help us, cause I'm I'm thinking about us. It's not just for me. Like I'm gonna go out there get the money for both of us. So you could be, you know, wearing them Jordans and driving them Range Rovers. So I'm doing the work for us, and I feel like he needs to be appreciative of me working to get the money, so we could be comfortable. I think it was when Australia said she had asked. Um, her boyfriend at the time, if she can um, experiment outside of the relationship with the with the girl, and he said no, but she still did it anyway. But then thought that it wasn't cheating. It was like he said no, so it's still cheating. But it's also interesting to know that like she wouldn't um, take back, or she wouldn't deal with a guy if he experimented outside of the relationship or with the with the guy. But then again, I guess it goes back to the whole like would I date somebody who also had an experiment so it's a double standard thing but I guess it is what it is basically what I said I said what happens if um, a female cheat with the same sex is that considered cheating most of my cast members said yes at the time at that very moment I didn't consider cheating because I, I was pretty open about it. it it's like an urge you know it's an urge that I want to release it's something that I never tried before and me in the relationship, I always feel like we're gonna be in it forever. So why not? Why not? I try that, you know, before we get really deep in the relationship. So basically, he told me no, <laughs> and I find it very. I'm like, knowing men, I thought they liked that, you know, just the fact that a female can have sex with another female, you know. But uh, apparently, with him, he was like, he felt like I was gonna just turn completely lesbian, like a just completely gay, and just not really acknowledge him at all. Um, at first he did X, can I watch this and that? I, I didn't mind. I don't know. He just felt like I was going to go in a different route if I did that. And honestly, if he watched the show, he would now know I cheated on him with a female. Every time I think Milan can't say something to just throw me over overboard, he just, <laughs> oh, if a woman was doing her job, cooking, cleaning, sexing, tying his shoelace, you know, men wouldn't cheat or men would come back from cheating. That is bull crap. Like, if anything, that might make him a little even more comfortable to be like, all right, that's good. Let me just dip over here real quick. You got to keep these men on their toes. You got to you gotta burn his food sometimes. You got to do random stuff. You know? <laughs> like, you got to just cook perfectly all month. And then one day, just burn the food. Put it on the plate. Nicely garnish it. Let's give it to him. He wouldn't even know what to expect. He'd be like, I don't know what's going on. You know, she burned the food. But yeah, anywho, when men get too comfortable cooking, cleaning, tying his shoelace, all type of stuff, stuff, anything can happen. Whether you're, you do everything 100% and then more. That's why I think some men need to date their moms because that's probably the only person they would never cheat on. What I said was, I want a girl, if you want to prevent your guy or your spouse from cheating, you have to please your man either in bed or in the kitchen, that's what I want. So if you please me in the kitchen uh, and in bed, then that wouldn't, that would stop me from, you know, looking somewhere else. And listen, I'm the good guy here. Like these guys think like, you know, these guys feel like I'm bad. Like I'm, 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 this is me off camera and on camera. Some of them like don't want to like be real on camera, but then every guy wants a girl 
that pleases them, and if they do, trust me, they wouldn't go out to cheat. Oh, everybody bringing their cup out, right? Yeah, the red cup. Yeah, ain't nobody. Somebody hold a cup down for me. I want to see who's the real one amongst the group. I got you. Oh, okay, okay. Pop the champagne, eight crown. She gave me her cup. Okay. The cheater is the one holding you down. Alright, so uh pop it, pop it, pop it, boy. No, no, no. Have I ever cheated? <laughs> I need the glasses for this. Have I ever cheated? No. I've never cheated. Hell no! I never cheat. <laughs> no, no. I love I love because I just vouch, sorry. Yeah, I overstudied and I cheated on my man test, yeah. If you're having an emotional relationship with someone, it doesn't even have to be you guys having sex, but that person is the first person you think about, or that person is like somebody you're gonna talk to when you have problems. You guys are having an emotional relationship, and it's something that's taken away from our relationship. So to me, that's still cheating. Is there any the grass. The grass. I mean, the grass ain't that thirsty ooh. now. Yeah, ooh. Whoa. Hey. Ooh. All right, so uh, bring your cups. Right here. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta go around. Oh my god. Yeah, I gotta That's go around. Oh, list. I can't do one of those. God bless your soul. Thank you so much. What kind of champagne is that? So I think people cheat for many different reasons. I think there's selfishness involved and they're not thinking about who they're with. And I think it's also maybe they're lacking something from the relationship. And I can speak for myself, you know, like I've been in that situation. I've cheated before. Not, you know, not something I'm proud of, but I think it was because in that situation, um, I wasn't getting what I needed and I felt like I didn't know how to leave. There are some things in the relationship, I think it was selfishness too, because there are some parts of the relationship that I still liked and I wanted to keep, you know? I kind of wanted wanted to have my kick and eat it too or whatever the case might be. There were some parts of the relationship that were fine to me and I still wanted to keep that and then there were parts that weren't working and I think that led me to cheat but I wasn't like mature enough to like deal with those um, feelings or how I was feeling or just mature enough to just walk away. I think people cheat because of a few things insecurity um, you know maybe they don't feel like they're getting enough love from home so they try sometimes maybe to stroke their ego you know, just because they know that they can and they like feeling that that uh, emotion that comes with what comes when you can get any person that you want. You cannot stop a male or female from cheating. Regardless, they're gonna cheat. If somebody wants to cheat, they're gonna cheat. I mean, some people are great at it, some people are experts at it, some people are very poor. I would advise, if you're poor at cheating, just don't do it, because you're only gonna get caught in the end of it. So, you know what, just, 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 just chill. Crack a smile, have a Coke. You, take you, gotta you only take bomb. what? You, you, oh, you picky, you fancy, mm. my bad. Is it French? Because you know the French have the best Seriously, champagne. Don't listen to France, it, it, yeah. It's, 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 it's Kava. <laughs> Kava. What is it called? It's Kava. Kava. It's Kava. 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 What year was it made in? Because you know the older the better. It was 1859. Ooh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, can y'all wait for me to, um, dang, selfish. I can tell all y'all cheaters, man. Just buy that. Nah, that's how you study about here. Some women, let's be real here. Some women are very, very, very good with hiding stuff, I don't know, man. Guys, we try to hide stuff, but then, you know, we're not as good, and then, you know, you women, you girls know that. That So that's why I feel like, yeah, you can be with a woman and then she, for 20, 30 years, and then she will be doing some sneaky stuff and you will never find out. But I think most women, you know, do have, a, do look for a connection before something physical happens, which would then mean women cheat before they actually cheat, if it makes any sense. If you think about it, if you're making, having an emotional connection with somebody else, then you're really already seeking things out there so by the time the physical happens you've already cheated mentally so you're just cheating physically i think like guys cheat physically without an emotional connection so i could say like guys cheat straight up but i feel like if you're building an emotional connection before a physical connection then the cheating has happened by the time the cheating is happening let's let's be real women are smart we're smart we if we want to hide something we're going to hide it if we want to get away with something we're going to we're going to do it because we're that we're that particular and we're, we pay attention to the details. So if a female is gonna cheat and make up a story, she's gonna make sure that the story is correct. And I don't condone, I don't promote cheating. I don't think che cheating is good, but um, I feel like if a girl cheats on you, you might not know. If a guy is gonna be messy, you're gonna find out. I would say men cheat more. I would say men cheat more, yeah, definitely. I think so. 
That's not my chicken. I'm not going down with you, bro. I would never waste food. Ah, uh, the stray, I see Thanks, you. Right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you asked for another piece of Just cake. Just a little bit. I'm trying. I don't want to be like the stray man. Tayo, I don't know if you're not even in it. All right, well, we're doing a toast. Let's do a little something. All right, I'm going to drink from the bottle. All right, all right. I'm going to drink from the bottle. All right, I'm going to drink from the bottle. All right, all right. All right, all right. Don't get too tipsy, bro. Put some water in the cup. Bad luck. It was great. I've been itching for this to happen. It was really great. You know, obviously, there's like tension in the air, but it was it was great. I enjoyed um I enjoyed seeing people talking, getting putting opinions behind faces because obviously I've had mostly faces or I've chopped it up with the guys but I really didn't get to see the girls talk. So it was good to like kill the assumptions and just see ideas come out of people. It was interesting finding out different perspectives. What I learned from the men why they th why they thought they cheated basically is our fault. Women's fault. So yeah um yeah, so I'm going to stick to my guts that they're just greedy. <laughs> so, I guess, and then uh, why men cheat? Uh, yeah, they're insecure and unfulfilled, so they need to handle that. Go find that elsewhere. And if you can't find it, do some soul searching because something is wrong with you. I think the highlight of the show was getting to hear both sides. Because oftentimes the conversation is often one way, and then you only hear one side. But we got to hear the mindsets of, you know, why some women feel like you know the way they do and why some men feel the way to do I think there was one particular um, moment where someone had brought up that you know she feels like she has to do two things in a relationship which is being one and also maintain it I thought that was very interesting because in my experience I've never really felt I've always felt like that's a mutual type of thing so hearing that some women feel like they have to maintain it you know just gave me an interesting insight into how some women feel about uh, the fact that maybe most men cheat, and I don't agree with that statement. So, but yeah, it was. But it's always good to always hear the other side because now you're more aware. <laughs> so what are we cheering you're to? So, you're so good. You're We're so cheering, cheering to a good show. Cheers I'm to not the a good guy. Cheers. 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 Wait, guys. Cheers, Cheers to, to good vibes. Good vibes. Not cheating. Good not vibes. Vibes. Not being cheaters. Not being cheaters. Back to the African Not that I'm not a cheater. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold up. That's cheers to me in the TV, too. Yay! Yeah. Wait, my cup ain't touch nobody. <laughs> <laughs> That's not <how I'm> personal. <laughs>